Hey everyone, hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. In this video, I'll be reviewing this Matchbox Skybusters Falcon X Heavy Rocket. And it's part of an ongoing licensing agreement between Tesla and Matchbox. Actually, Mattel, who own Matchbox, and they've released a few of these space vehicles and I look forward to showing them all to you as I get them for my own collection. So just a quick summary. It's quite small, maybe 1 to 144 in scale. Um, here is a 164 Ford GT, so you can see the size. It is quite small, but also, uh, you know, as for a kid's toy, it's, it's playable and manageable rather than being, you know, 12, 12 inches long. So, I'm going to show this in detail with the packaging and let you know my thoughts on this. If you're into die-cast cars or transformers and other small toys, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. So we've got the Skybusters logo here. We've got a little notice that says includes a play map and this is how to position the model onto it, which I'll show you later. We've got the model itself with a stand and the card background. SpaceX Falcon Heavy. And then on the back, uh, just for completeness of the review, if there's anything interesting here, I'll just quickly show this and you can pause it. I think it's just a load of the same stuff in different languages, just health and safety things. And that's about it really. Let's get this open. Now that we've got it out of the packet, let's take a close up look at this. So this stand really easily just fits in here. And there you go, it's in a upward angle. Let's take a look at the casting itself. So it's quite small, um, maybe like 1 to 144 scale. And it's shaped like this, which has had quite a few funny comments on social media. Um, Anyway, let's have a look at this thing close up. So here we have the head of the rocket and we've got these markings here which probably are different components of the rocket. We've got a small label here. FH. I don't quite know what that means or which brand or what that... Um, yeah, in the comments below, if you know, let me know. Uh, and we've got the American flag here. And then if you zoom out, we've got two more of these rockets either side. Maybe like booster rockets, I guess. Um, and they've got some kind of black markings on them here. And at the bottom, we have the like, exhausts, where they come out of here. So quite a simple shape, quite small, uh, we have, it's quite heavy, uh, you can see that this part is die cast and the under part is plastic and they have been press fit together here and here and there's a couple of points here including this this black section here, it's a little bit wibbly wobbly actually um, but overall really nice model, I wish they made them a bit bigger but I guess maybe in terms of the cost of the materials might be a bit tricky. So there we go. 2022 Mattel SpaceX. And we have a SpaceX type here, which is right in the middle of the plastic and the metal. Straight on like that on both sides. Looking great. So I've got a load of space die casts and uh, at some point I will be getting them together like a diorama and I'll probably show that on my Instagram. I might do a little video here 
as well. But let's get this guy on the turntable. So this is the card insert and one of the backgrounds is Planet Earth. And then on the other side, whoops, and they knocked it over. Yep, we have this kind of background, which is, I guess, the base. Um, we can put this alongside, like in the image shown on the front of the packaging to use. I think it's also quite cool to maybe just put it up right here and have it as a kind of launch pad. But it doesn't particularly balance well, which I think maybe for the design they could have expanded this to make it more stable. Um, but anyway, I think it looks really nice. And I've always been really interested in space diecasts as well, so it's looking great here. Let's give this guy a spin. Here we go. So there you go. Hopefully I will get the other space diecasts soon and I can do a video with all of them in to show you what it's like. But yeah, looking great. And I'm really happy that Matchbox have expanded to doing these. It's something a bit different and something a bit cooler. Well, let me know what you think of this SpaceX item and hopefully see you in the next review. Take it easy.